Think a dog. A dog? What kind of dog do you think it is, mate? I'm gonna go with Afghan hound. Oh my god, is it a werewolf? Yo, they sent me next to a werewolf! Yo, let me out! Uh, he's not a werewolf, okay? He's a weasel. He's harmless. Well, look now at the next chapter for a group of misfit supervillains trying to make good. The Suicide Squad is out today in theaters and on demand. And while that title may sound nearly identical to the last outing for these characters, while well, the filmmakers promise it's nothing like the original, we get more now from our senior entertainment reporter, Eli Glasner. Three, two. What are you guys doing? What? You, we're, we're here to save you. You were gonna save me? It was a really good plan, too. Well, I can go back inside and you can still do it. That's patronizing. Okay, so there is a taste of the new and improved Suicide Squad, and they are new and improved. Yes, there was a 2016 version, which... Well, let's pretend it never really happened. That's pretty much the approach that director James Gunn takes. Now, in the world of super heroic cinema, James Gunn is a special case. He's gone from the Marvel movies to the DC universe. So you might be wondering, what does the guru behind the Guardians of the Galaxy bring to the squad? Well, some good tunes, some great casting, and a much needed sense of humor. Suicide Squad is Guardians with less heart, but a lot more blood. We begin with Viola Davis as Amanda Waller, recruiting criminals to save the day. I wouldn't take such extreme measures if this mission went more important than you could possibly imagine. Are you in or out? Far from Gotham and Metropolis, the action takes place in Corta Maltese, where the local government have a dangerous weapon. As soon as the team hit the beach, the body count begins narrowing the focus to the stronger characters. As Bloodsport and Peacemaker, Idris Elba and John Cena are a lot of fun as the alpha males fighting to be top dog. You're gonna risk the entire mission for a mental defective dress as a court jester. It's coming from a guy that wears a toilet seat on his head. But I have to say the real standouts are the ladies, the manic Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn and Daniela Melchor as Ratcatcher 2. I'm gonna get you out of real life. I'm going to get you out of here alone. Now, I will admit I have a bit of a soft spot for the weirdos and I'm very happy to report that Polka Dot Man does not disappoint. I'm a superhero! Oh, and King Shark? Some major Groot vibes with him, if you know what I mean, but still, a lot of fun. And? Yes, that is your hand. Very good. Once the gang's all here, the quips come fast and furious, and yet Gunn finds some moments to let Harley Quinn and some others shine. While the squad doesn't feel quite as fresh as Gunn's first Marvel outing, his brand of R-rated irreverence certainly suits DC, especially if you prefer your anti-heroes over Avengers. Three and a half stars out of five.